Did you know that many people love listening to audiobooks while doing everyday tasks? Cleaning, running, traveling, or even cooking. Audiobooks have become a staple in our daily routines. The challenge? Starting a channel without recording the audiobooks yourself or facing copyright claims. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start making money on YouTube using free audiobooks online. And the best part? You don't need to show your face or record the audiobooks yourself. You'll also have a clear roadmap on how to turn your audiobooks into a source of income. And trust me, it doesn't involve only YouTube monetization. First things first, where can you find these audiobook gems? Public domain websites are your best friends. Think Project Gutenberg, a treasure trove of free ebooks, including audiobooks, in the public domain. Just mouse over the search and browse tab here at the top and select frequently downloaded for example, and you will get the top 100 ebooks from yesterday all the way back to 30 days. Choose among free EPUB, Kindle ebooks and audiobooks, download them or read them online. You will find the world's great literature here with focus on older works for which US copyright has expired. Thousands of volunteers digitized and diligently proofread the ebooks for you to enjoy. After conducting thorough research and selecting a specific book for your video content, in this case, The Adventures of Maya the Bee, navigate to the Read Now or Download page. Pay close attention to the plain text option, as this is crucial for ensuring uniqueness in your content. YouTube employs content ID checks, and given that Project Gutenberg offers copyright-free material, it is widely used by many creators. To stand out and avoid potential issues, it's essential to choose the plain text option and create unique content. Merely downloading pre-recorded audiobooks and uploading them to YouTube is an outdated approach in today's content creation landscape. Okay, there are two approaches you can take to transform this text content into a distinctive audiobook. Consider incorporating some unexpected twists or elements. Here are a few suggestions. You can, for example, introduce a new character into the story. So you can create a captivating character that adds a unique dynamic to the story. In the case of this book, The Adventures of Maya the Bee, I can introduce another insect or a creature from a different world. This character can serve as a companion or mentor to Maya the Bee, providing unconventional advice and perspectives. You can also, for example, add a plot twist to the story. You can incorporate a surprising turn of events, such as uncovering a hidden secret within the bee society or encountering an unexpected adversary. Introduce a mystery or puzzle for Maya to solve, injecting an element of suspense. All of these suggestions will enhance the original book and create a unique version of it. Choosing this route, however, requires a substantial time investment. Alternatively, the second option is to copy each chapter and use a text-to-speech AI to read it with a voice of your choice. While this is a quicker method, it may not offer the same level of creativity and uniqueness as the first approach. Ultimately, the decision depends on the time and effort you're willing to invest in the process. After copying a segment from the first chapter, proceed to a text-to-speech AI platform like Eleven Lab. Paste the text, select from a range of voices, and click Generate. To elevate your audiobook video further, consider adding visuals to the audio. Utilizing image generation AI tools such as Midjourney or Leonardo AI can be incredibly helpful. First generate the characters of your story because you will need it when generating your storyboard for your video. Now you can start entering the description of your character or your scene. I will start by generating the main two characters, Maya and the Grandma Cassandra. For the Maya character, I have chosen this prompt of a little girl in a bee suit. Now go ahead and enable negative prompts, so here you basically tell the tool the things you don't want in the image, for example extra hands or faces and deformities. Once entered, you can go ahead and click generate. I will use this generated character as Maya. For Cassandra, I used a similar prompt, an elderly lady in a bee suit. Now I can use both images to start creating the storyboard of the entire video. For that you need to ask ChatGPT to give you prompts that will help you generate the storyboard for your video. Remember to copy and paste the entire chapter so ChatGPT will know what it's working with. Copy the first prompt and head on back to Leonardo AI, paste it in. Now what we'll do for getting consistent image of the same character will be to upload or drag our image in the image prompt here. What this will do is use this image as a reference to create the new ones. You can play around with the image weight. It refers to how strongly you would like the reference image to influence the new ones. 
You want to keep following the same steps until you have generated enough images for the complete storyboard for your video. You can also enhance the visual experience by animating the images using tools like Pika or Runway. Simply drop in the images generated by Leonardo, fine-tune the settings to your liking, and hit Generate. Watch as your static scenes transform into dynamic, visually captivating moments. Import everything into CapCut, add some transitions and sound effects. Here are some tips to keep in mind when adding sound effects and background sounds for your audiobook. The primary purpose of background music in audiobooks is to enhance the mood or atmosphere without distracting from the narration. So you want to ensure that the music doesn't overpower the voice. Select music that complements the tone and genre of the audiobook. For example, use calming music for reflective moments or suspenseful music for thrilling scenes. Match the tempo and pacing of the music with the flow of the narration. Gradual changes in music can help signal shifts in the story, such as a change in mood or setting. Instrumental music is generally preferred over music with lyrics, as lyrics can compete with the spoken words of the narrator and may distract the listener. Ensure that you have the legal right to use the chosen music in your audiobook. If you're producing the audiobook for commercial use, make sure to obtain the necessary licenses or use sounds from the YouTube audio library. Remember, the goal is to enhance the listening experience and not distract from the narration. When done well, background music can add depth and emotion to the audiobook, making it a more engaging and memorable experience for the listener. Now, when it comes to monetization, certainly, you can monetize your channel with audiobook-based content on YouTube, given that it complies with YouTube's policies and copyright laws. YouTube is quite advanced in detecting copyright violations, so as long as you don't have any copyright strikes and meet YouTube's other requirements for monetization, you should be able to proceed with monetization. Once you've reached the requirements of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you can start applying to join the YouTube Partner Program. The YouTube Partner Program allows you to earn money from ads displayed on your videos. But you have to keep in mind that ad revenue might not be substantial, especially in the early stages. To maximize your earnings, you might want to consider diversifying your income streams by exploring alternative methods. Many successful audiobook editors hardly rely on YouTube ad revenue. Instead, they're smartly redirecting their audience to other platforms where they can truly cash in on their creative endeavors. You can monetize your audiobook through third-party platforms such as Audible or iTunes. These platforms provide a wider reach and allow your content to be available on multiple devices. This will make it much simpler for listeners to locate and buy your audiobook or listen to your podcast. You will have less control over pricing and promotion, but you can still use promotional tactics that include giveaways or limited time discounts. This will boost sales on these platforms. You can use affiliate links within your audiobook videos to generate revenue. When viewers click on these links and purchase something from the affiliate site, you will get a commission for each sale. This is a great way to supplement any other income streams that you may have. And there you have it. Follow these tips and the whole strategy I laid out, and your audiobook video will be sailing smoothly on YouTube without any storms. If this was helpful, hit that like button, share it around, and don't forget to subscribe for more handy videos.